Girls and boys, Father Niall here. How are you doing? I hope this is finding you okay. I am out on location. You might wonder, what am I at? Last week, if you remember, I shared with you a verse of the lovely hymn to Our Lady in the month of May, the Queen of the May, and it had the line, bring flowers of the fairest, bring blossoms the rarest, which got me thinking, hmm, flowers to bees to honey. And you're wondering, what am I at? And I was thinking of sharing with you that you mightn't know the lovely connections about bees and honey to things of faith. This isn't a nature class, this is a faith class. You know from nature and science about the importance of bees for pollinating. But in faith, what does it mean? Well, you mightn't know that the patron saint of beekeepers and bees is a woman by the name of Saint Gobnet from Balavorna, just over the county bounds, over uh, on the Cork side. And she is famous as the patron saint of bees because it was said that in times past that there were people doing a raid on her monastery at one stage and she organised for the bees to go chasing after the thieves and by God did they run and they left the cattle behind them. But also St. Gobnet used to use honey to uh, help to cure and to heal people. We're very familiar now with Manuka honey and the great healing properties of Irish heather honey, but uh, St. Gobnet was into it before that. But more than anything, St. Gobnet was known as a calm and gentle person, which you need to be when you're around beehives. If I go over there flapping and dancing around the place, the bees won't like it. We need to be gentle. And then thinking not just of St. Gobnet, but of Our Lady. In the history of the church, you mightn't know that the bee, the honey bee, was a symbol of Our Lady. A most amazing thing, because as we will find out in a moment, inside in every hive, there could be thousands and thousands of bees there and they're all about their business but there is one bee that is the queen bee so as there is only one queen in the beehive so for us the our lady is queen of heaven and of earth the honey belongs to the bees but the hives belong to a friend of mine called Dennis. We'll meet him now and hopefully he'll be able to show us a few things about the beehive. But I better get dressed up soon because if I don't, you will see me running for the hills. Back in a moment. I'm about to head there, so I better get myself ready. All ready to go. So girls and boys, the, lad, the, the one here with the green head is the queen. Now, she's not always with a green head, just uh, Dennis, the beekeeper, marks her so that she, he's able to keep an eye on her. And inside in this mm -hmm. hive, there is only one queen, and that's her there, uh, just conveniently marked in, in green. And I'm telling you all of this, not because of the amazement of beekeeping, and it is. And take your own time to Google things and to go on YouTube about bees. And for the adults, I'll tell you, take the chance to read up about the democracy of bees. There are some fantastic things there. But I'm sharing this as a message of faith. I said to you a moment ago that we have the image of Our Lady being a bee because of this sense of there being one queen and likewise for ourselves and our faith there is one queen she is queen of heaven and earth she is mary the mother of jesus the mother of god and that is why beekeeping is so amazing and inside in this hive there are thousands and thousands of bees and you would think sure if any of them gave up sure aren't there the others to take over but girls and boys it takes everyone there to be working together. It takes everyone, each bee, and likewise for ourselves. That's why we are always encouraged in our lives to try to be as caring like Christ as possible, because it takes each of us to make the love of God real in the world through that goodness that we share to those around us. And it takes each of us girls and boys in our prayer to be praying every prayer matters every prayer 
and every prayer at every time matters. And that is why we take the chance every morning and evening and at Grace Before Meals and at Angela's time at 12 and 6 o'clock and every weekend to gather together for Mass. And hopefully we'll be back together for Mass soon in our churches. But until then, take the chance to uh, gather with us uh, through the webcam of killarneyparish.com. And there is something very powerful in this. And that's why the saints of old said that there's something about bees that remind us of Our Lady and remind us of faith. It takes us all to be doing it together. It takes the whole hive, each individual bee, and they all being governed by one. And funnily, Dennis was telling me uh, about that with the democracy of bees, that it's not that the queen is the boss and she's telling all the others exactly what to do. No she trusts them she trusts all the bees to do exactly what they should be doing and she potters away doing her own work of laying eggs so as to build up the hive with future bees girls and boys i ask you will you please do your best do your best in your faith and in your own good living and in your own prayer like every bee here it does make a huge difference and remembering about the bees being on their journey uh, as far as I know, Dennis, am I right in saying to, be, to make enough honey to fill one jar, the bees would have to travel the distance of how many times around the earth? Say two or three, I'd say. Two or three times around the world if the bees were to add up all their journey to make one jar of honey. And you know, isn't there something lovely in that too? Because we talk about life being a journey and every day the journey is important each individual journey for the bees back and forth from the flowers is what they need and in our lives too back and forth in life to the people around us and to the lord who loves us and i say all of this with the theme of our lady and remembering that lovely hymn of queen of the may bring flowers of the rarest bring blossoms the fairest i share with you a verse of that now Bring flowers of the rarest, bring blossoms the fairest from garden and woodland and hillside and day. Our full hearts are swelling, our glad voices telling the praise of the loveliest flower. and boys that was a most amazing experience for me i've never been that close to a beehive before but can i remember can i remind you the video about the lamb wasn't about the lamb the video was about god being the good shepherd and this one isn't about bees this is about our lady being a symbol of a bee for the saints of old and about the importance of that in our own lives of trusting her as our as our queen may she mind us and may our lady mind you and your loved ones and all who are looking after us at the moment i'll talk to you later talk soon bye bye